Hello and welcome to this uh, lesson. Today we're going to prove uh, that the Brownian motion is a martingale and uh, to do so let's just uh, recall that the Brownian motion distribution is uh, is normally disti distributed with the mean of zero and variance of of uh, of the time. So let's start uh, the process so uh, we need to show uh, I, I actually I sh I'll show only one uh, one property I I'll, I'll show the proper the property that uh, oops sorry about that just one moment let's fix it okay so so I'll show the the property that the expected value of the Brownian motion given uh, the filtration until time uh, t is going to be equal to the Brownian motion at time s uh, of course uh, I mean here that, that s is less than t and if you, wa you want to think about it uh, picturally then if this is the uh, timeline and this is uh, the Brownian motion so you can think about it like this if we we have some kind of Brownian motion and we look at it at uh, at times s uh, so let's say that it got an, uh, it got here uh, and now we want to to uh, to, to check what is the expectation of the Brownian motion at time t given that we know uh, this information that uh, this is the filtration we know uh, we know what happened and uh, the theorem says that we should expect exactly uh, to be here because we are talking about uh, Brownian motion let's see uh, how this is uh, done by calculating it so we'll do something like that uh, expectation of B uh, T and we'll subtract uh, B of S and bring it back again all this is depend on the filtration now what we can do is uh, basically we didn't done anything here because uh, uh, this thing is still uh, uh, BT and now we can uh, split it up we split it up to uh, BT minus BS given the filtration till S uh, plus the expectation of b of s given f of s uh, and let's note uh, actually two things uh, because this is a Brownian motion the the increments are independent uh, at the filtration which which means that uh, this part is undepend uh, independent in the filtration so we can just write it down like this without the filtration it doesn't matter uh, for the Brownian motion for the differences in the Brownian motion uh, plus uh, the BS given that we know uh, the information until time s is a constant because I have the filtration until here so uh, the Brownian motion at this time is just uh, what I know about the Brownian motion which is just uh, its value um, now uh, I can uh, divide this part into two uh, separate expectations and so I get uh, the expectation of BT minus the expectation of uh, BS 
plus uh, BS uh, now uh, recall that uh, BT distribution is normal with uh, mean of 0 and the variance of T and so uh, is uh, BS is its distribution is normal with mean 0 and variance S but the main thing is that the expected uh, value of BT is 0 and also the expected value of BS is 0 so uh, this is why this thing is going to uh, be equal 0 also this thing is going to be equal 0 uh, and we left with uh, only B at times S so what we have just uh, uh, proved is that the expected value of B at time t given information until uh, time s is equal to B at times s and uh, this this property is what make uh, the Brownian motion a martingale of course there is uh, uh, another condition that we need to check uh, basically we need to check that the expectation uh, in absolute value is uh, is not uh, blowing up to uh, plus uh, is not uh, blowing up to uh, infinity but uh, I would cover this in uh, in uh, another lesson so uh, for now we we've just proven that the, expec the expected value of the Brownian motion at time t given a filtration uh, until time s is equal to uh, the Brownian motion at times s and this what's make it uh, martingale thank you